The following program is brought to you in living color, NBC. Welcome aboard the steamship Staff and Dam. This is Captain Theodore Bessel. Speed is 19 knots. The prevailing wind is northeast to east at the speed of 20 knots. The entire staff and I are glad to have you on board. Okay, what do you say? Let's get away. See how it's on voyage. Let's get away. You're about to visit places you never saw before. Travel all the seven seas and never leave the shore. I make the ocean is calm. Let's get away. Yo-ho, the weather is warm, let's get away. You will see the world Columbus knew there had to be. And you can do it right at home on your TV. In the Caribbean we will be, on the Mediterranean too. Then we're off to Waikiki, where the ocean's always blue. Sailing, sailing, over the whole wide world. Join us each and every day. Let's get away. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. On a beautiful day like today, we all feel like singing. I'm Wink Martindale, and a large welcome from the large SS Staten Dam. We're often asked how many people it takes to run a big ship like this. I was wondering, so I asked a steward the other day, uh, how many people actually work on this ship? And he said, about two out of every three that you run into. <laughs> I wish somebody else had said that. <laughs> actually, actually, there are, are well over 400 serving approximately 500 passengers. First on deck, uh, we'll be meeting Judy Roschke and David Young, whom we met yesterday on Matching Shipmates. But for now, this thought. A lot of fun people are cruising with us, and I'd like for you to meet just a couple of them. First of all, this gentleman is Mr. Mr. Delasio from Brooklyn. All right, let me hear your name and where you're from so we'll know who we're talking to. This is... Teresa DeVito from New York City. Having a grand time? Wonderful time. Wonderful. Yeah. You're getting a good tan, I'll tell you that. All right, let's move on down this way just a little bit. Who's, uh, who's seated looking so comfortably here? Dr. Leibowitz, Park yeah. Chestnut, Bronx. And this is Mrs. This is Leibowitz. I just kind of figured that. All right. She doesn't belong to him? Oh, I beg your pardon. I get confused when we get in a rush like this. Hi, what's your name? Hi, Pat McNulty, Queens Village, New York. Oh, boy, we have so many. Really, the people on this ship is that have had so much fun because there's so much fun to be had on board a cruise ship such as this. And we'll be meeting all of these people, well, almost all of them from time to time as we move along. Uh, hey, Chief, hey, you, the musician, you, the guy in charge of the, the music playing, what are you, what are you doing? What are you, you look like you are, are diverting your attention there. What is that? I got a letter from my folks, believe it or not. And they sent me a picture that they found of me when I was in the first grade. First grade, let me see. Can you spot me? What? Can you find me? Sure, you're the only one with a beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's get serious now. I, get, let's get on to the business at hand today. We've got a lot to do and a lot of fun to have. If you saw our show yesterday, then you saw the two people that you're about to meet again. They're no strangers to you. And by this time, we hope they're no longer strangers to each other. To help me fill you in, let's welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, the lovely Judy Roschke and the handsome Mr. David Young. Here they come. You notice I'm not separating you now. I'm standing on this end and you're over there. Welcome back, both of you. Hi. Hi, Dave. Thank you very much for bringing us back. All righty. Judy and David met each other for the first time on yesterday's show. David is the son of our guest star on this cruise, Mr. Alan Young. Judy and Dave were both part of a regular feature on Let's Get Away. We call it Matching Shipmates. And this is wherein uh, members of our staff who work in secrecy locate a young man and a young woman aboard ship who seem to be perfectly suited for each other. Uh, we introduce them to each other on Let's Get Away. And if by some if by some stroke of Cupid, they should, as a result of our matchmaking, take the walk down the aisle, we'll send them on a honeymoon, expenses all on us. 
Now, of course, naturally, you know they've got to be traveling on a Holland America cruise, and this cruise will take you anywhere in the world. Does that sound good? Terrific. All right. Now, you've got to remember, they just met the, each other yesterday. But moving from the possible future, let's get to the present. Judy and David, what was it we asked you to do yesterday? You remember what I asked you to do? It's kind of, it's kind of nerve-wracking, isn't it? Somebody puts this in there. What did we ask you to do? Find out more about each other. David, were you able to do it? Yes, but I'd like a lot more time. All right. Here's... <laughs> Later, don't rush this thing. <laughs> Let's not rush it, David. Now, we said we'd, we'd play a game based on the knowledge of one another, right? Right. You ready to play the game? Awesome. All right. It's time for the big test. I'm going to ask you to stand back to back, if you will. Judy, you stand that way. David, back to back. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Each time you give me a right answer, I'm going to give you a $10 bill, okay? Got a whole bunch of... $10 bills here. I'll ask you the question and you... No, no peeping now. You, sh you should have studied each other all right. Judy, what color are David's eyes? Blue. Blue eyes. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty right. I don't think you... All right, David, what color are Judy's eyes? Blue. Blue eyes. By the way, here, Judy, there's $10 for you. Let me look. I hate to do this, David, but there. It's another $10. All right, Judy, what's David's ambition? To be an actor. To be an actor. That's correct. David, is that correct? That's correct, yes. Here, Judy. <laughs> it's my money, that's the reason. All right, what is Judy's ambition, David? Uh, to sell as many Dodge trucks as she can. Is <laughs> <laughs> that correct? Correct. <laughs> Here you are, Chief. All right, let's see now. Judy, in what month was David born? Uh, let me think. This is April, he was born March. Is that correct, Dave? Uh, March 31st, yes. All right, it's $10 for you. In what month was Judy born? <laughs> this is the only chance to pick $10 out of it. November. Is that correct? <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> you sure? Positive. You should know. All right, here you are, Dave. <laughs> Judy, what color shirt is David wearing right now? Blue and white. I got $10 left. This means I don't eat tonight. David, please don't tell me what dress uh, in color she's wearing. Oh, what do you want to know? <laughs> All right, what color dress is she wearing? Uh, orange and white. All right, there's the money. I'm now completely broke. How about that? Didn't they do pretty well? <laughs> okay, we're going to go back around this way. It's obvious, it's pretty obvious to me, and I'm sure everybody at home and everybody here, you two have learned a lot about each other in the past 24 hours. And of course, this is just the beginning. Right, married couples? This is just the beginning. We've done our part, and the rest is up to you. In the meantime, will you do me a favor? Sure. Keep all of us on Let's Get Away posted as to your progress. Will you do right, that, Dave? I, I sure will. will. Ladies and gentlemen, David Young and Judy Rush. Thank you. Thank you very much. And good luck to you both. <laughs> Oh boy, when you're on a, when you're on a, that is a lovely couple, and we wish them the very best. When you're on a Caribbean cruise like this, each day, the mind's eye takes pictures that will last a lifetime. Out at sea, truly, a ship is an island. You look out over the endless stretch of water, and no doubt about it, it looks as if you could see forever.
Eileen. Boy, that was great. Sort of a, a perfect song for a clear day like today. It couldn't be lovelier. Very popular member aboard ship will be our very next guest. You'll see him after we see this. The other night, the ship's crew put on a show for the passengers, and really, it was great. One of the performers was a ship's policeman. The song he sang then, he's going to sing now, and the song is called Doc. Now, Doc is a Dutch word that can mean almost anything. Doc, for instance, is to Holland what aloha is to Hawaii. Hello, goodbye. In fact, you can use it when you don't want to say anything. Is that right, Bill? Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, here is Willem Pubbin and Doc. <laughs> Dag, schattenboutje, dag, aardig vrouwtje, zeg, lieve kleine meid, mag ik het wagen jou iets te vragen, zeg, heb je even tijd? Als ik jou maar zie, ben ik gelukkig. Waarom doe je altijd toch zo nukkig? Dag, schattenboutje, dag, aardig vrouwtje, zeg, lieve kleine meid. Dag. What should I do? Shake your hand or salute? I'm not sure. What should I do? Salute you? Yes. You look. <laughs> You look very handsome today. No, uh, yes, same. You know, it's, it's funny, he never seems nervous up until this very moment. I've never seen him nervous before. Bill, that was really great. Can you think of anything further to add to the definition um, of doc other than what I said a while ago? Where did the word doc come from? Doc, that means, uh, yes, it uh, means uh, from Holland. It means by, uh, you know, uh, it means uh, nice people. Nice people, Nice huh? people, yeah. By uh, American people, you. In other words, we're dock people, huh? Yes. I would agree with that. Yes, I will. <laughs> Bill, this package is for you. Would you please open it up and see what's inside? You mean it, don't? Yes, it's yours. It's not going to cost you a thing either. You're not going to have to answer any questions or do anything. Just open it up. Okay, let's see what's inside. You see this? You see this? Huh? You see what that says? Would you, Bill, would you read that sign for me, please? What does that say? Uh, no, it is the best. Say, it's, uh, you are fantastic. <laughs> you, are fantastic. <laughs> you better not say that, because you don't know what we're going to do to you yet. This is, you stand up close to the mic now, but, so everybody But, but you, are, you are one for the best. Please believe me. You are so grateful, and I love American, and that's what I, I told you before. Well, now, let's find out what we're going to do to you before you give us all these accolades. What does it mean? What do these cigars in this box mean? Didn't your son just uh, this past few uh, few days, did his wife have a new baby? <laughs> is that right? Ah, uh, yeah, it's right. You know it is. And he's on the Rotterdam, which is the flagship <laughs> of the Holland America line. And the mom is at home. Is that correct? That's right. Sir. Right-o. That's right, sir. Now, what's the baby's name? Uh, Michelle. Michelle. And that means uh, Michael to Michael, us, to yes. American. Michael, Michael Michelle. Yes. All right. Now, Bill, right now, your daughter-in-law and grandson right this minute are waiting by the phone back in Holland. We on Let's Get Away have made the arrangements as soon as you leave this deck. I want you to run up to the radio phone right up there. Uh, you know where it is, up on the bridge. You mean it? Yes, and you're going to talk oh, ship. You you're going to talk it's ship the to shore. <laughs> <laughs> you're going you're to talk ship to shore to Holland. Right, yes, yes. You mean it? Yes, how does that sound? He's the best. Come here, Bill. Come here just a second. Come here. Take a few cigars and pass them out and go on up and have a nice conversation. Give a, give a few people a... Bill Pubbin, ladies and gentlemen. Bill, don't give away too many cigars. I think they're waiting for you on the phone. All right, Bill, you go ahead, because I know you want to get right Oh, They're waiting on the phone, right? I go to, I go to Just go up there and talk to them right now, and don't put it off, because they're liable to hang up on you. Bill Putton, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what, 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 one final word. One, what, what did you say we are? Uh, you, uh, listen, that's what I mean. American people, 
allerbest. Good. En dat is aan de whole best. <laughs> We watched them play a game aboard ship the other day, and I don't know who was enjoying it the most, the players or the spectators. And we thought that you at home would like to share this game with us, so we're going to take care of that right now. Now, we've uh, can we get about, what do we need, fellas, about a dozen people, huh? Maybe about 12 people. Can we get 12 volunteers, please? 12. And Eileen, you and Gary, come on out. I'd like for you to form two rows here, and each row is going to be a team. Come on, let's go, 12 people. Gee, you may win, you may get, you may get a million dollars for this. Get out there and form a row this way, if you will. A row this way, two rows. Okay. All right, now I'm going to move out of the way. You go ahead and form the lines. Pass the orange from one teammate to the other. And the team that passes the most oranges and drops the least will be the winner of a very nice prize. All right, will you please? Here we go, form the lines. You ready? Okay, here we go. All right, Eileen, will you please take an orange and put it on the person to your right, put it right under the chin. All right, all right, Gary, all right, take the orange, both of you. Take the orange, that's right. All right, watch it, fellas. That's right, under the chin, under the chin. Remember, remember the team that passes the most oranges down to the end of the line is the winner. All right, that's okay. You can fudge a little bit. There you go. Just a little bit. Don't fudge much, but just a little. We realize there are problems involved here. All right, that's beautiful. Beautiful. As fast as you can. You won't believe the prize we have for this. Whoops, there you go. Start again. Here we go. Come on. They're a little ahead of you over here. Let's go. Don't talk. Don't. Why don't you hold it with your hand? That's all right. Hold it with your hand. Hold it with your hand. We won't tell the other side. It's perfectly all right. Please don't hold her too close, sir. That's not your wife. That's not your wife. All right, over here. How are we coming? Come on, you're almost a winner. Come on, you got one more to go. You got one more to go. Here we go. One more to go. Put it under your chin. How about it? I think we're going to have a winner over here. We got a winner right over here. We have a we have a winner. Oh, it's too bad. Gee, the game is over and he keeps going over here. All right, although all of you tried hard and everybody on this side turned out to be a loser, we are going to provide you, everybody's going to be a first prize winner because tomorrow morning we're going to provide every one of you who took part with fresh orange juice. How does that sound, huh? All right, let's give them all a nice round of applause. They're all good sports. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Recently, our ship, the Staten Dam, docked at Bermuda. And we loaded some cars with our cast and also loaded some cameras with film. And here's a look at the fun we had in Bermuda. It was a little after 6 o'clock in the morning when the SS Staten Dam pulled into Hamilton Harbor. Most of the city was still asleep, but despite the hour, in true Bermuda tradition, a swinging Calypso group was on hand to welcome us. This was our first stop out of New York, and we were excited as we watched the docking operations. We were looking forward to a short sightseeing trip that morning. Another Bermuda tradition, the Honorable Harbor Master was on hand to greet us. The entire feeling we got was one of happy fantasy, for truly Bermuda's colors were Walt Disney-like. And yet, we were landing on an island that was only some 200 miles east of the shores of that famous American paradise, Raleigh, North Carolina. That's right, that's where Bermuda, property of the Queen of England, lies. We had an afternoon rehearsal for our TV show, so uh, we had to make the trip a short one. The driver suggested that we visit Dead Man's Lighthouse. And so, in our automobile, off we went. It was quite an enjoyable ride, I might add. Beautiful scenery. We passed the beautiful Coral Beach Hotel, which is built right along the ocean's edge. For a moment, our driver feared he had taken a wrong turn, and I'll show you why. You see, Alan ran into a friend, and he told us that we were on the right track, so we knew everything was all right. <laughs> dead Man's White House was dead ahead. A group on motorbikes waved hello. Until 1946, the motorbike had been the sole means of transportation on the island. The small cars that are now in use must stay under 20 miles per hour at all times. You can tell that as we pull up to the lighthouse. 
Dead Man's Lighthouse was built 400 years earlier. The work had all been done by hand, and from the bottom all the way to the top, it was 182 steps. No elevator, mind you. Now, this information was very interesting to Alan Young, but when he found that you had to walk it, you can imagine, he decided to remain, that's right, below with his wife, Virginia. He thought he'd let us uh, kids, as he put it, handle this part of the sightseeing. After all, he said, he and Virginia were on this cruise to just get a quiet rest. It was a long climb, but the view when we did finally get to the top was breathtaking. You could, you could really see every inch of the 20 mile long island from where we were up there, including a scenic spot known as Pirate's Cove, the famous spot where the Spanish pirates made their victims walk off the cliffs to the beach and rocks below in a manner similar to the one they used to make men walk the plank at sea. Eileen and I looked over the cliffs where so many men had lost their lives. And I motioned to Alan. He looked. It seems Alan doesn't like high places too well. <laughs> Alan kept muttering something about this not being his idea of a restful vacation all the way back to the motorbike shop where I was determined to have a quick lesson. But, well, Alan seemed to show some interest and like a good host, I asked if he'd like to try it. The owner assured him it was safe. He climbed aboard and in no time he had it going and going, going, and finally gone. Well, believe me, the Staten Dam was a welcome sight after our whirlwind sightseeing trip particularly welcome to our buddy, Alan Young, who kept muttering something about a peaceful, quiet trip in the islands. It was fun, I'll tell you. In fact, every facet of this whole cruise has just been great. I have a few questions I'd like to ask a couple in our audience, and I will do that right after this. So take a look. I have a few questions I'd like to ask a couple in our audience. Earlier in today's show, you met the young couple that we've been talking so much about on our cruise, Miss Judy Roschke and Mr. David Young. Oh, I think I'll get comfortable for a change. Here we go. Yesterday, I talked to Alan Young about his feeling of David meeting Judy. Today, I think we should give equal time to the Roschke family. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Joe Roschke of Chicago, Illinois. Hi there. <laughs> Mrs. Roschke, has Judy said anything at all to you about David? In what respect? Well, anything, uh, whether she, uh, whether they get along well, or maybe some of the facts she learned about him in the past 24 hours, has she said anything at all? Well, I think she thinks he's a very lovely gentleman and and uh, very handsome yes and everything like that that goes with it they sure he's, he's been real nice to her and they got along real nice they sure dance well together and i know judy told me oh, yesterday yeah. she loves to dance so yes. i'm sure that's one good point very much mr roshke how did you and your wife meet well it's a long story <laughs> could you could you condense it to 10 seconds <laughs> <laughs> well um uh, I was a promotional man, a detail man for a pharmaceutical company, and uh, my wife had a dress shop, and I used to uh, live close by to the dress, this dress shop, and uh, uh, one day I ran into her in, at a soda fountain there, and we had a little uh, chat, and as time went on, we got warmer and warmer and warmer. <laughs> you too. We <laughs> went in and bought a few dresses uh, in the course of a few months' time there. Do you believe in mental telepathy? Sometimes. Would you believe this? I keep receiving a number in my head, a number that says 25. Does that mean anything to you? Yes, very much. Mrs. Roschke, what does 25 mean to you? Well, we're celebrating our 25th wedding anniversary. How about that, huh? I must confess. I must confess that our, we have a very nosy staff on Let's Get Away. They just go around putting their nose in everybody's business. And that's great. Well, They're thank you. Thank you. Well, I must confess that we found out about your 25th wedding anniversary 
and I got something I want to show you. Would you mind uh, getting up and coming over here with me just a second? Come on. Uh, here he comes. Come on in here. Look at here what we have for you. Come on over and take a good look. Isn't that pretty? Let's show that, show that to everybody here and everybody in the audience. What do you think of that? Oh, you got me in tears. I'm so happy. Can everybody see that? Can you see that all right, huh? Little 25th anniversary on top with some beautiful flowers. You know, the two of you first came to our attention the other night when you were dancing. The floor was a bit crowded, and we thought that we'd be doing you a favor today if uh, we gave you enough room to really dance because you do dance so well together. So what we've done, we're going to clear the deck, and right now Everett... Uh, is going to give us some proper music, something, ever, do we have something uh, in an anniversary flavor, maybe something like the anniversary song. Would you dance for us? All right, if you please. in bloom there were stars in the sky except for the few that were there we'll be moving right back to our party right after we part with this thought our anniversary couple will be given a special party we've arranged for them tonight the ship chef has really knocked himself out, preparing a special silver anniversary dinner for them. I know they'll find it a night truly to remember. Thanks for being with us today. I hope you'll book passage and join our fun tomorrow on the SS Staten Dam. Till then, this is Wake saying Bon Voyage. We would like to thank the Holland America Line and the captain, officers, and crew of the SS Staten Dam for their cooperation in the production of this videotape program. If you like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more. And check out my Facebook page for other exciting content.